Okay, this is to show the assembly of a floor to ceiling frame. So we're starting with uh, one of the five inch, or excuse me, five foot pieces. And uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, take the three quarter inch rod that's two foot long and insert it. And then by using a tape measure, you want to have that at 12 inches and you want to leave approximately 12 inches sticking out the end. Then slide it down and then you're going to use the self tapping screws that were provided to attach it at two and six inches from the end. As you can see, there's no need to use the uh, pre drill the holes, the self tappers will go straight in. Once those are installed, then you slide it down and you insert the second five foot over that. Now, what you'll need to have done is cut that uh, second five foot length to the required size that you'll need for your ceiling height. So before attaching the second one, make sure you've uh, cut this piece based on your ceiling height requirement. Once assembled, this is a, a 10 foot length. So when you have it at the uh, at fully covering, you wanna install them at two and six inches as you did on the other one. Once those are installed, then you do the same thing with the second set that you have. And then what you want to do is you want to rotate that 90 degrees so that the uh, screws are facing to the inside. And then you'll put this angle bracket on, one on the bottom, one on the top. There's uh, self holes for the self-tapping screws here. And then there's holes here for you to be able to secure this to the ceiling. You could also rotate that 90 degrees and attach it if you're planning on attaching it to the wall instead of to the ceiling. 